This hurricane is now headed toward Georgia, South Carolina next. And the real concern in South Carolina, of course, those low-lying areas, and the governor issuing a plea yet again today. That's where we find meteorologist Rob Marciano tracking that part of the story tonight. Rob? Well, Hurricane Matthew has arrived here in the low country of South Carolina just in the last couple of hours of rain blowing sideways, winds gusting over 40 miles an hour. Today was the last day to prep and or get out. Tonight, South Carolina counting the hours until what could be a direct hit. It is getting worse, and so we are looking at major storm surges. And already feeling Hurricane Matthew's outer bands. Drone footage showing deserted streets outside Charleston. Businesses closing up all along the coast. I wish all of you that you be safe, that you be careful, um, that you take care of each other. More than 26,000 evacuees now in nearly 200 shelters in the storm zone, including Katrina survivor Cindy Frith and her family. How nervous are you as the storm approaches? I am about a 10. A 10 on the nervous meter? Yes. Another sign time is running out. Troopers today this clearing the eastbound lanes of Interstate 26. And here we are probably in the last few minutes of the flush. The Highway Patrol had been using them to help people evacuate Charleston faster. Tonight, Billy Crocker is Mount Pleasant's last hope at keeping the town dry. What would happen in five to eight foot of surge if, if you didn't have this pump system? This entire area would be underwater. Ready to switch on massive pumps to head off that storm surge on the way. And he tells me any more than five feet, and those pumps have a hard time keeping up. Charleston, in the meantime, surrounded by water. Three rivers and a harbor, not much above sea level. There is little doubt there will be water in this city tomorrow morning. David? Meteorologist Rob Marciano with us tonight. Rob, our thing.